Hello and welcome to the second Salesforce tutorial for Whitecap Construction Supply. My name is James Garfield, your Salesforce Administrator. Today's topic of discussion is going to be the creation of mass emails. Now mass emails are a very useful tool for you as a salesman to keep in touch with your contacts, to send them promotional items or any sort of information thereof that really would be very hard for you to do on an individual basis. So for starters, let's go ahead and log in. Again, we just go to www.salesforce.com and we can log in. And we want to go ahead and type in our username and our password. And this will take us to our home screen here. Now, the first step in actually creating an email, a mass email, is going to be creating the template that we use for that. So in order to access our templates, what we're going to want to do is we're going to go over here to the top right hand corner of our screen, click our name, follow that with setup, and then that will then take us to the setup screen. We're then going to progress by going into personal setup and our email, and then you'll see the option for my templates. Click into my templates, and here, by default, it should set you to your personal email templates. We're going to go ahead and click the New Template button. Now, there are four options for us to select from when creating a template. But for the purpose of our emails that we're going to be sending out, because we want to use our HD, or excuse me, the white cap um, letterhead, we're going to select HTML. And we're going to click Next. And once we've reached up to we're going to go ahead and select the folder that this template will be saved to. For us, we're going to want to go ahead and save it into the personal email templates just so that it shows uh, all of your individualized email templates that you've created. We could save it to an unfiled public email template folder, but that's not really applicable for what we're trying to do today. The next important step is going to be making sure that we select this available for use checkbox. If we don't select that checkbox, we're actually not going to be able to use the template and it might just leave a scratch in our head. So just as we create it, let's make sure that that checkbox is selected. Next, we want to go ahead and type in the email template name. We're going to go ahead and call this one Salesforce Training Template. By default, the template unique name will automatically be populated for us, so it makes it very easy. Next, we're going to select the letterhead that's being used. Now, I created a letterhead that has the white cap uh, construction supply logo automatically attached at the top, so it looks really, really nice. But we're going to go ahead and select the company letterhead. Next, we want to select the email layout. We always want to leave it as a free form letter. Um, the other ones, just depending on what we want to send out, we may have to change those, but for the purposes of sending out like a promotional material, we're going to want to go ahead and leave it as a free form letter. Again, we'll leave the encoding uh, just as is for general US and Western Europe. You don't need to touch that. And then if we want to add a description of what this email template is, we can do so. So let's just say that this is for training purposes. We click the next button, and now we actually get into the creation of the training template or of the template name that we have here. So down here you can see the body of the email. This is the header that is automatically put in with our logo, so it's really big and they'll know, the recipient of the email will know exactly who, uh, who sent it. So next we need to type in the subject of this. So if we wanted to say that this was a promo email or uh, basically whatever the subject of your email would be, we would type it right there. Next, we can click down into this box and we can actually create the email that we want to send out. Now, since we've created the subject of the email already, we're going to go ahead and edit the body or the content of what we want the email to say. Now, this might be the only hard step for you um, as a user, but I, again, I'm here to help out and hopefully this video will help you and point you in the right direction um, regarding merge fields and things like that. So in the email, we can go ahead and say, dear, whoever we want, but because we want to make these emails somewhat personalized, what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to pull the information or the contact name. So if 
your contact was John Smith, we would automatically want this to say, Dear John. So what we're going to do is we're going to select from these merge fields right here, the merge field that we want to apply. Now because we're dealing with contacts, i.e. John Smith, we're going to leave it as contact field, and we're going to select from the drop-down his first name. As you can see here, it automatically pulls the merge field value for us, so we just want to copy and then paste that into the body name, or into the body. And after that we should probably put a comma or something along those lines. Once we do so, we hit enter a couple of times. We can type this is the body of our email. We can go ahead and type in a few more lines. Um, I'm just going to replicate this is the body of our email just so that we have uh, kind of a placeholder. But again, you would type in whatever information, so if you wanted to talk about the promo, you can do so right there. And once we've done that, what we can do, if we want to include our address, you can say something along the lines of, come visit us at, and then next we want to create another merge field. So this one is kind of a little bit of a hack, so it's not readily available up here in the field types. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to type in this little parentheses, it's not a true parentheses, but we're going to type that in, an exclamation point, we're going to type in user dot address. And what this does is whatever address is associated with your uh, profile, that will be put right in here. So basically the addresses that we have for your profile currently are the addresses of your location. And after we've included all the information that we want to, we're probably going to want to put something along the line of a thank you note. So we'll uh, we'll skip down, say thank you, and we look forward to seeing you soon. And then we're going to want to create some something uh, along the lines of a signature. So it's actually pretty easy to do that. Similar to what we've done with the user address up here, what we're going to do is we're going to do that little parentheses an exclamation point. We're going to type in user, oop, excuse me, exclamation point, user dot name, and then close that out. And then what I would also suggest, just so that our name kind of pops out, I would highlight that. And then if we go up here and select the bold, it will automatically bold that for us. Then we're going to skip down a line. Let's turn off that bold. We're going to type in the same thing, user dot, let's say, phone number here, and then one more for user dot email, which will have our email address. So once we've inserted everything that we want, including all the merge fields that we need, we can go ahead and click the next button. And this is just another version of our actual email, so we can actually just go ahead and skip this all together and click save. Great, and now we have saved this template, and you can kind of see what it'll look like right here. Gives you a little preview. Now the next important thing to note is if we want to add an attachment, because if we're doing this for, say, a promo, we most likely are going to have a promo to attach. All that we would do is scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Attach File. We can then choose the file. Even if it's on our computer, we can choose it. So. I don't have any on my on my PC right here, or on my Mac rather, but if there was one, we can go ahead and type that in, or add that, and then we just click attach file. We just click done to save those, and you can see Salesforce is thinking, and it's adding it to the email template, and there you can see it's right here. Now to test and make sure that it worked, let's go ahead and send a test email. So we can go ahead and click the send test and verify merge fields. So the contact, let's just use a test account. So we're going to go ahead and type in something like Dave test, which is a contact that we created for testing purposes. And then in the account, we can go ahead and find an account field, which this isn't relevant at all for us right now, but if we did have account information and merge fields, we could do that. So if you wanted to pull information from the account as opposed to the contact. So let's just use AAA Test Company for this. 
and we're going to change the email address to where we want this sent. And we click Send Email Preview to. OK. And hopefully we'll be receiving an email here shortly. I'm just waiting for the ding. All right, and so we have actually received that email. So what we're going to want to do is pull that one up, and we can take a look at it. I have the email selected here. This is actually what the email is going to look like to the end user, or whoever the recipient is. In this case, we had selected uh, Dave Test as our recipient. So you can see it populated his name. And you can see that my address here at Whitecap Anaheim has been uh, included, as well as my contact information without us having to manually type that in. So this, again, is what the email is going to look like when it's being sent out. So we're going to want to close that. And now next, the important thing for us to do is to select who we want to actually send these emails out to. So to identify who we're going to want to send out to, we're going to go to Contacts. We're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page. Under Tools, you will see Mass Email Contacts. Now, mass emailing a contact, it's important to know that right now we have the system closed down, or it's, it's open, but we actually can't allow you to send them until we make sure that everybody's kind of on the same page. So for the purposes of your next um, mass email that you're going to send out, after you create that template, you're going to have to reach out to me at james.garfield at hdsupply.com. But again, let's get back to the, um, the recipients. So by default, the view is going to be set to view all of your contacts or whatever list you may have here. Um, in this case, let's go ahead and view all of my contacts. And as you can see, there's only two of them currently, but um, for you, there's most likely a whole bunch more. And what we can do is we can pick and choose from that list who we want to send to, or if we want to send to all these people or whatever if we want to send it within a uh, within a specific company, we can do so as well. All that you would need to do is let me know, and then I can develop that view for you. So once we've selected the contacts that we want to send to, we click the Next button, and we're going to select the template that we want to use. In case you want to view which one it is, you can click the Preview button, and it'll pull it up. This is an old one that I had set but it's actually very similar to what we did, but we're using the Salesforce training template. We click Next, and we can name this mass email. So if we wanted to call it promo for today, that's the uh, 9th of October, we can name that. And then the settings that we want to have for this email, we do want you to receive one copy of the email just so that you have that for your record. And then also we want to store an activity for each message because this will show basically in your activity report all the things that are associated with the account. Now one great feature that we can actually do is we can schedule the delivery. So if you didn't want to send that promo or if you didn't want to send that mass email right away, we can do so or we can schedule it for another time in the future. All you would do is select this button and then we can change the, um, the delivery date and time. But after we've set those settings for us, all we have to do is click send. I'm not going to in this case because it will send out that email to those two recipients. And that's obviously not advantageous for us right now. But all the next page would just say, congratulations, you have successfully sent XYZ email. So again, just as a recap, what we need to make sure that we do is that we're going into our name. We go into the setup tab. We then go into our email settings and we create a new template within our own personal email file or folder. We do that just by clicking the New button, selecting the HTML letterhead, naming it appropriately, and then selecting the letterhead that we want and making it a freeform letter. From there, we can type in all the information that we need. And once we save that, if you let me, the administrator, know, we'll be more than happy to get you all set up with sending that email out. I hope you found this uh, beneficial. Again, my name is James Garfield. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me. My number here is 949-794-2799, or you can always reach me at james.garfield at hdsupply.com. I appreciate you watching, and I hope you learned something. Thanks.